Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing amazing. Now, I'm really sorry I haven't had a chance to upload anything for several months. I am so sorry. I've been super busy. I've had practicals and placement and exams and it's just been manic. <laughs> um, so today I'm going to talk about things to buy before starting uni and it's going to be a bit different than my last video but because this time it's going to be like clinical things like a stethoscope etc and I may include some other random bits and bobs as well just because there is so much to talk about although I am considering splitting them up into two or three videos who knows we'll see how this goes um so yeah let's get into the video Before we begin, I just want to say if you've applied for September 2022, I am keeping my fingers crossed for you because it is just, it's, st it's still surreal to me, like I still can't believe I'm here, you know, and it's just an amazing experience and you've learned so much and your mentors and teachers are amazing, it's just, it's awesome. So fingers crossed and remember if you don't get in this year, just try again next year, don't give up, okay? Right, so moving on. So yeah, clinical things to buy before starting uni. So I think the first one I should mention is probably the most important one. You can get the app, but I recommend the JR Calc Pocketbook. Now it's got everything you need on here for when you're on placement. So it's got all the drugs, uh, contraindications, uh, how much to give, there's just it's just a, an amazing book to have with you. You can buy the big one as well. I've got it up there, but it's, it's really big and like really heavy. But I definitely would get this one and make sure you get the uh, most recent one as well because they change things now and again. So yes, definitely recommend this book. If not, they do have an app as well, which I think is four pound a month for students. I'll have to check. I shall put it up here what the price is in the app but yes that is definitely the first thing you should buy okay so the second thing I recommend you guys buy is a stethoscope okay it doesn't have to be uh, a Littman it can be just an ordinary stethoscope it doesn't matter as long as you can hear with it okay um, I know a few people on my course haven't got stethoscopes at the moment and it doesn't it doesn't really matter but I do recommend it this one is a Littman classic three and I think they're about hundred pounds so I mean they're not the cheapest I mean you can get a cheaper one and it'll do just the same job but I just wanted to go for a lip man. so yes definitely get a stethoscope okay the third thing I recommend is uh, pen torches eye torches um, <laughs> yeah and it's got the uh, pupil thing on the side as well so they're quite handy to have I've lost one of them already, which isn't good. But some of these come with the stethoscope when you buy them. Not Littman, but I'm sure some of the others do. So yeah, if uh, if you can, get a stethoscope with pen torches included. But if not, they're pretty cheap on Amazon. Okay, so the next one isn't um, something you definitely have to buy. But I, I've bought it just in case something happens on the ambulance and it isn't working. It's just um, the SpO2 monitor, just to measure... Uh, oxygen levels and your pulse I think it was about 40 pounds but again this isn't something you need to buy it's just something I bought just in case number five I think is uh, a watch now this one was gifted to me which was really nice but I definitely recommend getting one and when you get your uniform and everything you place it up here some people don't but a big rule in the uh, in healthcare is you bear below the elbows for hygiene reasons, so you can't wear your normal watch. So I'd definitely recommend one of these. Okay, so the next thing I would buy are these little things. So you clip them to your belt loop and put your ID on them, and then you can like pull it up to show people. Um, they're pretty cheap. I think I got these ones on Etsy. I think again pretty cheap but really cute um, and another thing with your ID I recommend buying a uh, news card I'll put a picture up here 
so yeah I definitely recommend these and the news card. Okay so something I found really useful to have on placement was a mini notebook just to write down um, every case we went to and then it came in handy as well when I had a reflective essay to do so yeah I'd definitely get a mini notebook and then fill it in throughout your time on placement. So something else that was definitely a lifesaver because you will probably be on 12 hour shifts mine was 7 a.m to 7 p.m and vice versa you normally do two day shifts and two night shifts a week um but this the battery pack thing it was a lifesaver um I, ju I should probably say none of this is sponsored this is just stuff i've found useful and things i have but these are pretty good they last a good eight nine ten charges so i definitely recommend a battery power pack Okay, so something else I should mention is get clicky pens. Um, it's just because it's easier to use, you know, rather than having to pull the lid off. If you need to write something down, you pull it out and you're ready to go. So clicky pens. So another thing you should definitely buy is a plastic clipboard because you can store stuff inside and it won't get wet. I saw literally everyone I worked with had one of these um, and all the students have bought one as well and as a little bonus I added the new score and the GCS scale on the back as well just so I can have a quick look over but yeah this is what we write our patient forms on called PCRs and it's just easier to carry it around so yes get a clipboard I think they're like, like 15-20 quid on Amazon so yeah I definitely recommend getting one so there's nothing really else that I bought clinical, you know, most of them aren't really clinical, but well, the additional thing I have in my bag is little star stickers in case we have a paediatric, uh, you know, who doesn't love a sticker anyway, so, but yeah, most of that stuff is just, it's like the main things I take with me um, on placement, and well, when we're in university, we use the university's equipment anyway, so I wouldn't worry too much about getting any of these just yet. But, I mean, if you want to get ahead and get these things ready, then I'd, uh, I'd say go for it. So I know this video isn't going to be very long if I'm only going to focus on clinical things, so I decided I'm going to chat about a load of other things as well, because why not? So the first thing is uniform. Now, we had a uniform fitting day, which went okay, actually. And then we waited, I think it was like three weeks for our uniform. And it's just, it's the best. You know, it's actually really comfy. Um, the boots can be a bit sore sometimes, so I definitely recommend buying some thick socks. But apart from that, I love the uniform. And I'm just, you just feel so proud wearing it. So, yes. That's the uniform. Right, okay, so another thing on my list is jabs. You will need to be fully vaccinated uh, with measles, mumps, rubella, um, everything. You'll need to make sure you have the uh, vaccination certificates thing. You need to send that to your university. You need to have a DBS. Um, what else is that? There's something that came up on one of my other videos, I think, or on Instagram, was that it could be a male dominated area now with my cohort it's it's kind of 50 50 there's no like huge difference you know but the college of paramedics recently released this and well it clearly shows that it is male dominated after all but no my cohort is a nice mixture and everyone's really lovely okay so i just want to mention how placement was i had four weeks at a fire station somewhere around Swansea and it was amazing oh my gosh I loved every second now a lot of the time admittedly was spent waiting outside hospitals but what can be done I spent that time to revise and study and learn things from my mentor my mentor was amazing right if we were like waiting around or hanging around he would like pull something out and show me how it works and that's just that's what you want in a mentor, right? You want someone that's supportive and really wants you to get on and live. So placement was amazing. As I said earlier in the video, I did seven till sevens. So we call them sevenses. Um, 
yeah it was a mixture of days and nights and I've never worked nights before so it was a whole new experience for me but honestly the 12 hour shifts they don't feel like 12 hours they go by so quickly it's just it flies by and I was so gutted to finish okay so speaking of placement the things I took with me were mainly the things I showed at the start of the video and I took some other things as well like a bottle of water some snacks um, my iPad to do some work, uh, a book to study and I also had a driving test coming up as well for the C1 so I had to do a lot of studying so I had a, an app on my phone as well I'll put it up here definitely recommend it it really helped me and I passed so yeah right so to finish the video I'm just gonna give a little bit of advice before starting university so my first bit of advice is definitely do some St John if you can because the experiences you get there and you learn so much and you learn basic life support so you'll have that basic understanding before coming to university which is a big help uh, secondly I've mentioned it already get the JR calc the most updated one if you can you don't have to buy the big book you don't even have to buy the pocket book but it is recommended or just get the app even <laughs> uh, you need to have a good understanding of anatomy and physiology so if you can study that now whilst you have the chance because it's going to be such a full-on course it's going to be hard to find the time so something i always watched was crash course anatomy on youtube fantastic it talks a little fast for me but you learn a lot from it and i recommend getting the ross and wilson book as well i shall put a picture up here as well um and just just start going over the different systems and start to familiarise yourself if you haven't already because you need to know everything. Okay, so there are two other books I also recommend for you to start pre-reading before university and I shall put pictures of them up here. So the Ambulance Care Practice, that is one you definitely need. So the JR Calc tells you what to do and then the Ambulance Practice book tells you how to do it so you definitely need both and the ECG book start reading it now not trying to scare you again but you need to start reading it now because it is a lot to absorb so that's the first part of the video guys I'm going to do a second one straight away now focusing on what I've learned so far um, and I'm gonna upload them together then so you can just watch both at the same time so yeah last thing to say is good luck if you've applied and I'll see you in the next video